all right i hope everybody's doing okay thanks for coming back and watching another one of my videos and this one i really hope gets shared blown up if it's the one video that goes viral i hope this is it just because as you can see from the title of it i want harley davidson to know about it and i'm sure everybody else will too so i'm talking today on two things one is specifically their stupid corporate policy they have of online dealerships sales of parts now i know i'm not going to say their names i'm not going to throw them under the bus but a lot of people know about one that i'm going to consider to be west coast one midwest and one northeast those are only three in the u.s that i know that does it or did it actually they don't do it no more and i used the one in the northeast they were a really cool dealership and as a dealership that one day i hope i get to go check out But when you get in these situations of like this dash trim is really what's throwing this video, this and plug wires of all things. Um, you know, I'm on a breakout group on Facebook. Actually, I'm on a couple of them, but one of them, a guy asked about the dash trim. So I was kind enough to send him my video where I did it so he could save some money and spend that on something else like a flush mount gas cap just by making a bracket uh, he went to go look it up and everything at the site I got mine from and he couldn't he didn't have the part right part number or something so I just completely screenshot my uh, receipt from him and he went in there and got everything and the price had gone up go figure I think it was $100 higher when I did it versus when other people have done it before me. And I still paid $200 and something for mine. And his is going to be closer to $350. Now, that could be several reasons. That could be because they're running out of black line dash trims and they're not making them anymore. Or, uh, thanks for pulling over here. I think I'll just take my time. Or they're uh, adjusting for how much it will cost to replace it, which, you know, inflation, that's going to happen. But the fact that you can't go on one of those three websites where you have to go and sign a digital form saying you're buying said parts for your own personal use and not reselling them, which Harley Davidson, I do agree with that because if you go on ebay right now you'll see the cruise control module like i want that i can't order from said dealership now is like 500 dollars like are you freaking kidding me yeah i know there's still supply chain issues and all that crap so it'll take six to eight weeks maybe longer to get your parts in if you do and order them from the dealership but that leads me to why internet sales at those specific dealerships was way worth it and why they should allow more of it. And that would be, like for me, I gotta ride 30, 35 minutes depending on traffic to my dealership. It's really not that far away, but I don't wanna go there just for them to say, oh yeah, we don't have this, I gotta order it. And there's gonna be more on that here in a few minutes. And then half the time they look stuff up and they don't get the right part numbers. So yeah, there's that, that little issue too. And Whee! 
Okay, now that that's out of my system. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I act like a child. Um, so yeah, sometimes they get part numbers wrong and then you gotta take even longer. Those said sites had actually part breakdowns and you could actually pull the correct part numbers and see what you're actually looking at when you order it versus going to a dealer and, you know, them not showing you what they're looking up half the time. But, to me, what you're doing, Harley Davidson, by not allowing those Hell, there's only three of them that I know of in the U.S. There's probably more. I just don't know about them. What you're causing is because you're not allowing them to go and sell parts like they were doing to people like me and people watching. You're opening up the aftermarket to take all your damn business. Now, here's why. I know a lot of people, they don't want to deal with... Woo. They don't want to deal with Harley because they're overpriced and under quality or whatever they want to say. To each their own. I still want specific Harley Davidson parts. Now, with that said, and I think I'm going to tag Advan Black in this and hope they watch this whole thing. That dash trim right there. There is a big market for that dash trim. And the fact that Advan Black could go and get it, make a mold of it, throw their stank on it, and then color match it to this bike, and it actually bolt directly up and you not need a spacer or a plate replacement on the fuel pump, will open up a whole new avenue which is going to make the black line dash trim obsolete and nobody's going to want because they're going to want body match so Advan Black you might ought to think about that because now Harley is forcing us to look elsewhere especially when it comes to soft tail motorcycles if you're not going to sell the parts why even make them just quit making them. Just make all baggers. I mean, that's the way it's advertised. Is you don't have a real motorcycle unless you have a bagger. So, I mean, why not, right? Just go ahead and cancel the whole damn line. Cancel the Sportsters, too. Just do away with them. Because that's what it's coming to. Ooh, probably should have downshifted. Uh, yeah, on to the next part. This is more aimed at Harley Davidson's dealerships particularly mine in this case but I know there's probably others that has the same problem because of their corporate policy not having online sales some you know I have a 35 minute ride some only have one dealership in their state and they're in a big ass state so they have to go ask for said parts and then learn that they don't have parts but they can order them right then and there pay for the whole thing and come back in six to eight weeks so they got to make that stupid trip again or they can go and pay for the dealer that they purchased it from to ship it to them at like you know 18 20 bucks a damn shipment depending on what kind of part it is <sighs> come on harley y'all can do better than this crap even the dealerships and I know my dealership it has a tendency to watch this because I'm getting into where I'm really irritated and that is because something as simple as 10 millimeter Screaming Eagle plug wires for a breakout which are the two short wires they ain't got then they sent me over to their other one and guess what they ain't have them either after they said they did was, you go look at their wall everything's full of bagger parts so here's where that quit making soft tails and sportsters if you're not going to sell their parts come into play because why should we go and spend money on these bikes want to get parts something is a basic tune-up item as plug wires that y'all should readily 
readily have available if you're gonna make a bike you need to have parts for it. basic parts plug wires plugs ignition I mean come on tires brakes rotors I mean this is stuff that's should be common sense to Harley Davidson and I'm not gonna put this all on Harley Davidson I'm gonna put this one on the damn dealers because you walk in it's bagger bro paradise and it's not only the dealerships too a lot of the parts companies you were forgetting the soft tails there's still a crap ton of soft tails out there that you should be making parts for cool parts and you say screw it because Harley Davidson promoted the bagger as the next chopper fad and now it's gone to performance bagger fad so Harley and y'all joined 2022 man you have the capability to go in any dealership and pull a VIN number right and you can see what all has been done to that bike okay it's not that damn hard to add parts to that because if I had to go to one of those companies that y'all took away that dumbass policy and we had to put our VIN numbers in for those parts you would know hey this guy's buying parts for his bike now if we hit over a quantity of two on something like pads like I mean I don't know I'm just gonna use brake pads as an example to have a spare that's no big deal I mean if it's something that is you just say hey if y'all gonna order two of this stuff take your time you know make a place an order then make another one later I 100% agree they should not go and just sell to anybody like Dennis Kirk or JMP cycles because then the prices of everything is going to go through the roof and part availability is going to be a pain in the ass my main goal of this video is I was hoping Saddleman was going to see their video and they did I'm hoping Harley Davidson watches this video and and actually retracts that because I can't even get plug wires for my bike now because I don't want to have to order them through the dealership and go back and pick them up so I'm going to check in October when I go down to Daytona to see if they even have them there and if they don't, then I'm not going to go with Screaming Eagle wires. I'm going to go with an aftermarket wire. And I'm going to start buying aftermarket parts from other manufacturers instead of some of the Harley Davidson parts that I actually want. Because I'm not going to go through all them damn hoops. please 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 share the crap out of this thing you never know who's going to be watching you never know who works at harley davidson who might watch this video and pass it on and pass it on and pass it on to the big man and then the big man may watch it and be like laughing at it be like hey, hey, too bad and then you're gonna uh then you will end up pissing a lot of your loyal customers off but get with the program let the let them on let them dealerships sell parts online it's a whole lot easier for us customers to go that avenue than sit there and have to waste our gas and our time to go to dealerships just to be told they have to order something and i know somebody's gonna say well call them on the phone guess what i'm still taking my time to call them on the phone then i still have to take time to go pick them up after a six to eight week wait so no, I pass Harley Davidson. Take the damn ropes off those dealerships' hands and let them sell parts like they were doing already. You didn't give a crap then, now all of a sudden you give a crap. But, please, please share this video. This is one that has a good, a good, uh, mission 
you know it's gonna really help out everybody that has a Harley Davidson that's watching and if it ain't raining this weekend I'm probably gonna go riding with DDK so uh, that'll probably be in the following video but I guess until the next one get out and ride stay safe peace